Welcome back. My name is Tony Lau, professional feng shui consultant. Today we are going to be talking about how to screen your day. This is part of a gatekeeping service I provide to all of our single folks out there, or anyone curious about their current girlfriend, boyfriend, spouses. Nothing's going to change if you're already married. You can actually just read more into your current relationship. But for anyone that's dating out there, I think it's crucial to know what type of person are they dating. Parents or friends are into gatekeeping for their friends. This would be a, a great way to do so. There are 10 possible personality you could fall into depends on the day that you were born and will use the Chinese solar calendar. Now this is different than the traditional Chinese lunar calendar that a lot of people are familiar with. I posted a link down below there to do the translation for you. It's not always easy. I managed to find this one site that gives you the date in English rather than just Chinese. So I think it's really useful for this video and the next four videos we'll be covering. So why 10? So to keep it short, there are 60 possible dates that you could have in the Chinese solar calendar. Since there are 10 different heavenly stems representing five elements and you have 12 different earthly branches, combine those, you have 60 possibility. By times 12, it equals 60 which can be divided into 10 different categories. So direct translation would be the 10 gods, but I like to call them the 10 stands, which is more representation of your personality. It's a reference to Jojo in my watch anime. First we have the official stand, which will have this personality if you are born in these following day, Bengzi, Denghai, Gengwu, and Xingxi. If you enter in their birthday in that calendar, you determine which day you have. So to get an example, I have it there. So you have this date, that means your couple palace has the official stand. So what does that mean? It means this person, when it comes to love, especially for love, not nothing to do with friendship, okay? Just for love. Or the choice of me. So this is particularly focused on that. You could be like one personality with love and then another type of personality for friends. So this is focused on love. Obviously, the, the good thing about this personality is you seek comfort in a stable relationship. Your other half should have a stable income as well. That's what makes this person the most comfortable and the best career choice for their mate. So this is not about themselves, it's about the person they're dating or they're married to. This is what they found like attracted to, it would be like government workers, teachers, judges, or other type of job with security. Yet they hold some kind of power over other in a respectful manner. So like you could be a manager in the government that you oversee other type of government worker. So those are, attractive features for this person they're dating. So like, uh, to get an example, like if you are a government worker and you're dating someone with this personality in the couple palace, you're like a golden ticket to them. You could be the most attractive person they're dating. So they're attracted to someone who have discipline in many aspects of their life. So someone that has a fixed schedule for their life. They will actually set a schedule for the other person too. So your wife has this personality and they set a routine schedule for you. They'll set a schedule for like the daily life, any event outside of work, weekend activity, a vacation spot. You gotta be at work at seven, eat lunch at 11. They are also attractive when someone has a set schedule for their daily life. Just a daily routine where they do the same thing over and over again like work, weekend activity, and vacation spot. It's great for those that are seeking long-lasting relationships. So someone in for the long run, not for just some casual fun. Bad part about this stand of personality in the couple palace is that it can be boring. So it's bad if you are seeking excitement in a relationship. Someone that like comes up with new stuff all the time, this is not the right person. If you are someone that's wild, they're probably not going to be attracted to you. You will find like 
their activity can get repetitive. Everyone has different preference when it comes to love. It can be a bad thing if someone that doesn't like the activity to be repetitive, particularly like say I go to this store every Saturday without fail. It might be okay for someone, but not okay for other. Like they go to the same restaurant every Friday, or they go to a vacation at the same site, same campsite every summer. They can seek stability. Any change and disruption would disrupt that discipline they establish. That's it for official stand. So moving on to the next step. So we have the power stand. Also translate. It's a seven Q. I don't know. So direct translation is seven Q, which doesn't make any sense. So power kind of make more sense. The power stand. So you're born in this day. Da Xin Yi Yu Wu Yin Ji Mao Ren Shu Ren Chen Gui Wei Gui Chao. You enter someone's birthday in the site I provided. On any other calendar you can find, you can use a Chinese one, you can read Chinese. If they have this date, then they have the power stand on their couple palace. What does that mean? That means they are an alpha, the typical alpha in a relationship. I can guarantee you if your dating interest, your girlfriend or boyfriend, or husband or wife has this date, who was born on any of those dates, they have their Alpha personality, hundred percent guarantee. So let's talk about good thing and bad thing about this stand. If you prefer someone else wears the pen in the relationship, that's great. If you're looking to be taken care of by someone else and someone seeking someone else that does everything for the relationship, then you're in luck. If you like to like be in a relationship with a fixed schedule, the other person would set a schedule for your other half. Such as like you go to work at nine, eat lunch at eleven, meet this client at three o'clock, and be home by five. Here's a fifty dollar allowance. Then that would be the perfect relationship for this person. If your wife or your husband already does this for you, then the chances are they have the power stand in that couple palace. I would check the birthday, see if they have one of those eight days I mentioned. And there's an old Chinese proverb that says, "Be afraid of your wife, and you shall be rich." There's a lot of truth to that. If your wife has the power stand in their couple palace. Now, the risk of this type of relationship could run into is you might end up being in a abusive relationship. Some power folks have a no tendency of certain anger issue. But also, if you're also an alpha, two alpha would never result in a happy relationship without a lot of work. I've seen that many times. If the husband or wife is on both. Alpha, they usually end up breaking all the time. It's constantly screaming in the relationship because need to side with you, their power to each other. So best of luck to both of you. Prepare to work extra hard in compromising. I think that's the best approach. Any relationship is possible. It just depends on how hard you want to work in these relationships. I think that's it for today. I see you next time in this five-part series. That we're starting this month of February.